Hey guys, Harv here, and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. We're here, we're in, we have a rover, and we are in orbit, and we have the planet Kerbin there below us, and things are going pretty well for us. We seem to be at a fairly high altitude, about, I might even say it's roughly geostationary. You know what, if only we had some convenient ring. Okay, that works. So this is the third and final episode of our Artificial Gravity video. Why is this here? I thought it was going to be a two-parter. Well, we actually failed. At the end, kind of, at the end of the previous episode, uh, we tried to put a rover inside our ring. And unfortunately, to my great dismay, the wheels popped. And the reason that happened is because wheels pop based on surface velocity. And of course, when you're in a low orbit, your surface velocity is 2,000 meters per second. However, at geosynchronous orbit, your surface velocity is about... I don't know, should we find out? Ours is currently 13.4 meters per second. Of course, a correct geosynchronous would be 0 meters per second, but we're not here to be nitpicky. Let us swap to our ring. For those of you who don't know, this is an artificial gravity... Uh, a way of creating artificial gravity. So what we're going to do is spin our ring in this direction. There we go. And the way it works, for those of you who haven't seen those videos, I recommend you do go and watch them. It's a prototype first, and then we actually built a massive one in orbit. This is just a one-part ring to try and get the best results with a rover. And we actually are going to slip off if we don't stop that. Come on now. There we go go, that should be okay. So yeah, the way this works is that you spin something at the base of a ring, and in doing so, it experiences centrifugal force, gets flung out to the side, and experiences weight. Uh, that's going to slip off again, isn't it? Oh, no, it should be okay. There we go. You see it's actually... I think the brakes aren't working properly. It seems to be moving along the, uh, the side. But there we go, that is that is this thing spinning. It's not a perfectly along an axis, but <laughs> doesn't need to be. We just want to get fast enough that we get some good weight and we can perceive that. So we'll spin it at around this speed. Not pointing towards Kerbin. Well, we know we are pointing towards Kerbin, not pointing towards north, because if we did that, we wouldn't have this amazing view. And it's all about the view. So here we are. This is what it would be like to stand inside this this station whilst it's spinning. That's the advantage of having a rover over a person. You can just do chase camera view and the universe rotates around you. Now, Tanya Sapien, who has submitted a few, a few different things into our series, she submitted moon base, uh, that's not moon base utilities, amongst and there was something else, was there? I th no, that was probably it, actually. But, at any rate, she submitted quite a few things. And, uh, she made a video saying about this solution. And although I already knew this was the solution, what she did actually interested me. She had this mounted onto the back, an accelerometer. And this is one of the game's scientific equipment, which don't, which I didn't think actually worked. But they do work. They do have a purpose. And having an accelerometer onto this craft, which is spinning around the base of this ring, it can measure gravity. So we're currently experiencing 0.07 g's of force, which is really awesome. So, if we were, for instance, to drive backwards in the spinward direction and we try not to fall off then as you can see our force increases because as we drive round the ring our we're increasing our uh, angular velocity and by doing so we're increasing the force we experience <laughs> so yes just driving on this ring and it is pretty damn awesome there we go, we're getting 1G. Now, by driving this fast, we're getting Kerbin gravity in this incredibly low radius. 
Ah, and that is just really, really cool. And of course the same applies, or the opposite applies. If we slow down and we start going the other direction, then as we have, you know, we have 0.1 Gs now, if we were to drive in this direction, with the help of some RCS, because it seems to be a bit harder for the ship to do it, we drive in this direction and we start experiencing less gravity because we're decreasing our angular velocity. So we're actually doing science. Oh, and we're actually going to fall off. Oh, come back on, come back on, come back on. <laughs> oh. Come back down. Come back down. There we go. So that, that is all this video is really about, that we can actually demonstrate how this works. And that is incredible. That is really, really cool. Uh, the thing we're going at in the right now is about, it's I think 0 0.12, 0 0.12 is Muna gravity. So what we're doing currently is almost, we're almost uh, experiencing the gravity you would experience on the moon in this little rotating habitat. And that's pretty cool. But the coolest thing by far, if we can maybe turn this ship around, the coolest thing by far is what we can do if we turn around. Ooh, three point turn here. Snazzy. There we go. So we're now pointing in the swimmer direction because that's the best way to to best way to drive. There we go. Turn that off. So what we can do now is we're driving around our ring and it's all hunky-dory. We can go, because we're in a cockpit, we can go into this camera view. And this is a, this is what it would be like to be on board a space station. See the, the ground curve away from you and yet whilst you stand, if you stand still on the surface, it seems perfectly flat. Your eyes, your eyes and your senses don't quite match up and that is just really really cool so that is our video for today guys this the wonder of artificial gravity spinning round in the base of a ring and feeling weight experiencing it weight that you can change by driving round the ring it's incredible that this actually works ah oh, man if only I had an oculus rift and I could look around my cockpit something I want something I want thank you very much for watching this video guys this has been the finale to our artificial gravity maybe doing some other some other interesting topics I'm looking for a new project something interesting to do like this artificial gravity has been something so fantastically awesome and I've got a few ideas but we'll see we'll see how they go Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please do like the video. If you want to become a YouTube partner, I have a referral link in the description. Most of all, thank you for watching this video, and I shall see you all next time. I'm gonna just enjoy myself here for a few minutes, if you don't mind me.